All right. Hello, and thank you for tuning in for another episode of TGIF Renegades. Coming at you. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. Close. You're still not quite uh, the old basketball Jones you uh, well, used, used to be. <laughs> Knees are hurting a little bit more nowadays. <laughs> but you didn't even have to use your knees. Well, still. <laughs> You're just sitting on your ass. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Uh, all right. Hello, I'm uh, Kenny, and this is my co-host, Alex. Hello, everybody. How's it going? <laughs> too, too much. <laughs> it's never too you're, much. It's supposed to just be hello, and that's it. <laughs> hello. <laughs> that good enough for you? <laughs> That was great. That was great. So, it is great to be back. Yeah, it's been in, a while, huh? In the podcast biz. Well, I mean, when you have a podcast, you gotta have a studio. That's true. And I wanted to upgrade our studio, so we had to take some time off, right? <laughs> right, that's true. I got a new camper, so... Yeah, I thought when we took this break, it was gonna be, you were gonna... <laughs> You were gonna go all. You were gonna go all full house, um, Joey's place, and, and remodel yeah. and make a full studio, <laughs> right? And uh, instead, we're just in another camper. camper. <laughs> <laughs> we got time to work on looking like Joey's place, but all right. All right. Well, it takes some time. It looks. It looks nice. Well, thank you. Yeah, I mean that's. That's what I've been doing, is making sure we got a nice brand new studio. <laughs> what have you been up to, Kenny, since we've been off the air? You know what? Uh, okay, so I've, I've had to uh, actually get a job. I know the, the shtick was two stay-at-home dads talking about full house and family matters. Sounds like <laughs> only one of us is still doing that. Right. Somebody us... else seems like they're uh, delivering packages nowadays, huh? Driving the old brown bus. It's not a bus. What can Kenny do for you? Huh? <laughs> All right. That's what the ladies say. <laughs> Anyways, um, in real life, yeah, there's there's been a few things that have uh, have happened that I feel our podcast caused. Oh, okay. As as you know, Bob Bob Saget died. He did die. We we were running a perfectly good podcast. We stopped the podcast. Bob Saget dies. I kind of feel like we're a little at fault. <laughs> I, he was probably upset. That's true. That we stopped it. But but also R.I.P. Bob. Yes, R.I.P. Um, also, uh, Reginald, Carl. Yeah. Yep. Is in the progressive commercial. He's a big hit now <laughs> because TV. of our podcast. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. TV dead. <laughs> you know, I love those commercials. I do too. Uh, but they. They should make him a little more meaner, you know? <laughs> like, he's too friendly. Yeah. He was never that, that not friendly. Carl. No. That was... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have a good show lined up for you this week. Our episode is titled, The Big Reunion in Our House. Oh. So, real quick, if if you had to give a summary of a show or an episode called The Big Reunion in Our House, go. Uh, a Big Reunion... In our house that maybe we're going to sell? <laughs> or you want me to do, like, two individual ones? No, no, this would be a show that's the big reunion in our house. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The whole family is coming together to reune and <laughs> to reune and be like, all right, this is our last time in our home. Okay. So, pretty much, to me, this seems like the, the show is over. Yeah, okay. Like, we're that not... Makes sense. I mean, we're restarting, but it seems like we're ending. But this is ending, yeah. yeah. I, think it's a di I think it's different. The big reunion in our house. We're in your, your camper house. Oh. And it's a reunion because we're redoing wow, the show. look at you. Look, okay. It anyway. take you a long time to think of that. <laughs> I was up all night. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to review, uh, like we used to do, Full House and Family Matters. Um, and later in the show, we have Trivia with me, What's on the Mind of Alex, 
Alex's bedtime stories. We'll put you to sleep for the night. <laughs> I was literally just... Now go with your teddy bear. I was literally just going to say probably some singing. <laughs> you started singing. <laughs> you always got to sing. Uh, and also later on the show, um, we have a new segment, uh, kind of a where are they now segment, where I'll give you a little info on what... Uh, what one of the characters from either Family Matters or Full House has been up to post-TGIF. But now, I know you and all of America listening... <laughs> I'm real has, thirsty. ...has been waiting patiently for me to say this, but with all that said, Alex, it's time to crack open a beer and get into this, because it is TGIF! Jeez. <laughs> Oh, man, that's good. good Lord. <laughs> so every every week, I always say we're going to start with this one. This week, I'm leaving it to you, Alex. Oh, okay. Which do you want to start with, Family Matters or Full House? You know what? Let's go Full House. Full for House. For Bob. For Bob. For Bob. For Bob. For Bob. Drink Cheers. one. Drink Cheers. one for Bob. Bob. All right, so starting with Full House, uh, Season 1, Episode 15, the title is A Pox in Our House. Oh, boy. Um, the date could be a lot of things. It could be. could be, but I, it's not. I think it's really just the one that everyone would think. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, the date this aired was uh, January 29th, 1988, and the IMDb rating was 7 out of 10. So they hold strong around a 7, yeah. I think. It's it's almost pointless to read these IMDb ratings. Yeah, but it's, you know, it's interesting. I, mean, I still it. find it interesting that Sea Cruise was the worst. Yeah, that's but my favorite it's one. The of best us. one. All right, we'll get into the episode. Uh, we start out in the living room with uh, Jesse Cochran and the Rippers uh, huddled up, snapping fingers and singing. <laughs> All right, I gotta get the beat in my head. I, I practiced this. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> To do, please show me how to spin. I want to do that dance till I forget where I am. So get up out of your bed one more time. Hoja, make me spin. You don't remember that? I do. I mean, it's isn't this to put the kids to sleep? Is this the bedtime? No, no, no. That was the teddy bear song. Oh, well, why does it sound just like the teddy bear? <laughs> make me teddy bear. It does. Right? It does sound very similar. No, this, so they're singing, now remember, it's Jesse and the Rippers, like like ten other guys. Yeah, that's a big band. do wop around in a, like, a circle singing while uh, Danny and Joey sit. <laughs> I'm just laughing. Wait, they're sitting on the couch? Well, yeah, they're, they're like sitting on the arm of the couch, watching Jesse and the Rippers It's even worse sitting around. on the arm of the couch, too, by the way. <laughs> yes, I guess. And uh, Michelle's in Danny's lap, and he's making her dance, do little dance yeah. moves. Um, and down rush DJ and Stephanie. Oh, <laughs> did they have their heads popped like, like, <laughs> the, like looking down or something? I didn't they? I can't remember if that was this like, or oh, not. Can we please go down yeah. there and see them? <sighs> They're so excited to hear Jesse and these guys. Of course, do DJ, up. DJ would be like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but they come down and. Uh, DJ's all, like, rushing down, and Stephanie, she basically just looks like shit. <laughs> like, oh. she, she really does. And, uh... Come on, Stephanie's great. She is, but she... No, but literally, she looks like shit in, yeah. the, in the episode. Um, so... <laughs> I'm pretty adamant about this. Yes. <laughs> Damn it, she looks like shit. <laughs> so, so they sing a verse, or whatever they do, because they, they really... Hoja, make me spin. Oh, please. And they, they get going, man. So, this is what grown men <laughs> did in the 80s? Yeah. What a bunch of losers. <laughs> and At least the... nowadays, we're in a camper. Right. <laughs> talking with on beer. a... With, with beer. Doing a podcast. Mm -hmm. Way better than these guys. Way, way better. But go on, Kenny. But, I'm sorry. But the weird thing is... No, as weird as Jesse and the Rippers are dancing... The weirder thing is Danny, Danny and Joey watching. You couldn't find anything else to do. Couldn't find, like, was there chicks there? No. No. 
I don't even think there was a chick in the Rippers band this time. There was the purple haired chick a couple episodes yeah. back, but no, no. Oh, okay. And, and and a couple episodes back, Joey was bitching about wanting a place to to uh, rehearse his comedy stuff. And yeah. here, instead of being in his nice new room rehearsing, he's, he's up upstairs in the room. watching Jesse dance. Oh. Jeez. Anyway, so let's get let's get this uh, yeah. set up here a little more. Go on. Um, so they sing their verse, and uh, yeah, then they come back to uh, singing more. They do more like theatrical, like a theatrical ending. So they do their whole "Make Me Spin," like they finish it out. Oh, yeah. And uh, and then the the family's all pumped, and Danny starts one more time, spin your head till you're almost dead. And everybody's like looking at him, like, yeah, like, dumbass. Yeah. Um, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> they're like, go do something with your life. Go clean. Quit watching us. <laughs> um, so Uncle Jesse tells the guys he'll see them at rehearsal later on tonight. <laughs> so what the hell are they doing? There's nobody working. Well, well. That and it was like nighttime, so well, it was already night, so and they were already at Uncle Jesse's house. What sounded like rehearsing, okay. And now so, tonight he's gonna see them at rehearsal. So bands usually start what around seven, eight o'clock. Yeah. yeah. So I what? Mean, so what time is this? I don't. Know. The girls came up from downstairs, and if I'm remembering right, they're in PJs, but I can't. Maybe I'm wrong, but I. I thought they were so uh, the, they're old enough to be like okay fine let's say go to bed at eight o'clock right right yeah. so this is getting late already yeah it's already okay late. so maybe they brush their teeth got all ready and then they like moseyed on down before to say good night to everybody maybe. right maybe but still that's about eight o'clock yeah the biggest thing for me is they're rehearsing now and they're gonna see each other at rehearsal i just don't get it what, yeah what were you what? Why? Yeah. yeah. Anyways, um, so a stupid like goodbye, do do do, goodbye, do do do, goodbye. Oh <laughs> Wait, are they like leaving the house then? Yeah. Oh, and they're all God. like, oh, it's all it's so great. Um, but they leave, and now Stephanie is laying on the floor. Um, all of a sudden, I told you she looked like shit. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm it's making up. sense. Um, Danny asks how she feels, and she says. Yucky. Uh, she she feels a little warm. Per per Danny, he says she feels a little warm. And then uh, Danny and Joey and Uncle Jesse all like feel each other's foreheads to see how like a normal forehead is and how she is. And uh, she she yeah, she actually has a fever. It sounds like. So now Stephanie says, uh, "Aren't I too young to get pimples?" Oh, uh -huh. so fever and what she thinks are pimples, it's the chicken pox. Ah, what did you think it was? <laughs> no, I thought it was chicken pox. I, I'm sorry, I'll save this for later, but okay. I was thinking like about pimples and stuff. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll save that. Hear, I don't want to hear about your pimples. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, so uh, Stephanie yells, you know, I caught something from a chicken. Uh, <laughs> oh. um, they all say they've had chicken pox before, except for Joey. He says he hasn't because he's immune to them. Oh, uh, gets that old chicken pox immunity. 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 Um. <laughs> So, he says, he says, uh, everyone, Joey says, everyone in my school had chicken pox except me. I guess when you are an awesome physical specimen like myself, germs take one look at me and say, why waste our time? <laughs> <laughs> now, if you remember, just a couple episodes ago, he had high cholesterol yeah. and was going on this workout he, thing. He wasn't a good physical specimen. <laughs> he was out of shape. He was. And... Not very well. He's still he. He's overweight, right? Is he I, overweight? I don't know. He looks normal to me. Is he? I he guess, just isn't like. <laughs> I guess he's like my bad. <laughs> Fred, sorry, I'm gonna stop you. But you see how high my pants are riding up right now? My shorts. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, those are sorry. I almost saw something at the bottom. Yeah. These are pretty tight. Some high riders there. Anyways, um, so. 
so then, uh, oh, he says, um, he says, why waste our time? You know, and then Jesse says, women say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now Danny, um, so Danny's glad that no one has to worry about getting chicken pox. But then Michelle makes a noise in the playpen. Oh, please don't do her noise. <laughs> I don't even know what she no, did. No, you like know. A, you used to do it. It was just like a... <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. It was just like a... <laughs> no, I don't think she coughed. I think nope. she just cooed. She made like a... <laughs> but I thought it was funny because like Danny's like... Oh, everyone's had chicken pox. Phew. And then his baby has to make a noise and he's like, oh, shit, I forgot oh, I have a baby. I got, that, I got that kid. I forgot about that kid. <laughs> um, so now they need to worry about the baby getting chicken pox. Uh, new scene. Stephanie is in bed attempting to itch, but Danny is, and Danny is tucking her in to bed and tells her not to itch. Uh, she has oven mitts on to keep her from itching. I don't remember oven. I think I remember, like, I think I put oven mitts on to, like, not. And then yeah. I'm like, this is stupid because you, you can, can just use the oven mitts and it still itches. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can just take the oven mitts off and <laughs> scratch. <laughs> like, what kid at that age is going to be like, okay, I'm going to keep these oven mitts on because my dad told me to. Like, no kid's going to do that. They're no. going to take them off. Hell no. So, so she says, um, this better work. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, I jumped. I jumped on my uh, notes here. Um, so she has the oven mitts on. He he says Uncle Jesse is coming soon with something to get her to stop itching. Now she says it better work because she needs to get back to school tomorrow. A real ballerina is coming to their class. So Danny says uh, he he says to get better. She to get better. She needs to rest and have lots of fluids. Uh, just then DJ comes in with juice for her and sh and Stephanie chugs it down and she says, keep them coming, DJ. Oh, <laughs> she, now, I question, did she hear that from Joey? Yeah. <laughs> Joey she's heard Joey probably. says that a lot about he, drinks. He probably, <laughs> he probably, yeah, that's probably how it went down. Keep but, them coming, bartender. I, I, I'm, I'm not a doctor. I'm right. not a doctor. Right. Not at all. But does... <laughs> juice help like are you dehydrated when you have chicken pox i don't think so oh okay. i don't know I, I can't remember enough about chicken okay. pox but i know fluid you know you have a fever yeah okay. what, what's what's the saying with uh fevers and when know. you got a fever <laughs> drink a little bit of <laughs> juice oh, oh i'm thinking of starve a uh, fever um starve a fever eat a Drink a horse? Or... <laughs> I don't know. Well, that's <laughs> ride a ride a horse, save a cowboy. Is what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay, save a horse, ride, ride a, a cowboy. cowboy. Ah, that's what it is. <laughs> okay, I knew it was something sexual, and I couldn't save a horse, ride a cowboy. <laughs> yes, that's it. That's it. You had to sing it in order for <laughs> us to remember what it was. So Uncle Jesse walks in, dressed in his like super sparkly suit for this. Get, rehearsal or whatever <laughs> so that that's what i'm you always got to look good kenny well so he's going this is later on in the night i'm assuming yeah um so he was rehearsing with the band right to go to rehearsal where he's dressed up like are they calling like the gig rehearsal or do they mean like get there and warm up before the gig well i would imagine it's warming up before the gig Okay. But, right. you know, a guy like me and Uncle Jesse, <laughs> we always want to look flashy look, and good. You gotta look your best. You gotta look your best, no matter what, right? Right, right. yeah. I mean, spitting, spitting image of Uncle Jesse right, there. right here. I mean, <laughs> like minus, two peas in a pod. Kenny. Minus a lot of things. <laughs> I don't do this. <laughs> I don't think so, Kenny. All right, so Uncle Jesse walks in with uh, calamine lotion. For Stephanie. Oh, I love um, the smell of Caroline lotion. God. I, love I, don't that want, smell. I don't want to hear about anything with you in lotion. <laughs> <laughs> but Caroline lotion, man. It's pink. It smells great. I haven't oh. smelled Caroline lotion in 
I don't even know. What oh I'm man, I could lather up and tell my. Do you have right some? Now. Is that your? Is, did you bring a prop and that's it? No, <laughs> I wish I. I think I used yeah. it all. <laughs> I don't want to hear. About Probably it. got one drop left of my calamine lotion. <laughs> so, so DJ is leaving uh, to get more juice and laughs at Uncle Jesse before she leaves. <laughs> Um, Danny applies the lotion while Uncle Jesse tells her he never scratched his chicken pox once because he got tough. Grr! Wait, is this Danny? No, this is Uncle Jesse. Jesse? Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Then he says, uh, let me hear you be tough. And she goes, grr. <laughs> and Joey walks in and says, growling, please. He says, she needs this. Teddy itch no more. And it's a big stuffed animal, um, a big stuffed teddy bear, um, so that she can itch that whenever she's feeling itchy, um, which that's even worse than the oven mitts on your hands. Right, right. Uh, then he gives her a special bonus gift for letting them know when she needs them. It's an air horn. Uh, I wish what? we had an air horn just so I could do it. Uh, <laughs> but why... So if she's in what her about room a and there, are you going to hear a ding, 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 ding? Or are That's you going to hear house. a... It is a big house. <laughs> yeah, you're going to hear that. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, can I admit, like, uh, obviously we don't give a shit about the baby sleeping. Right, no. no nobody cares about <laughs> Michelle yeah. sleeping. <laughs> Forget her. We'll yeah. close the door and leave her to yep. crawl around her crib on her own. We Probably about... climb out of the crib, flop on her face. Right now, all we care about is Stephanie's... Chicken pox, screw the baby. Yep, yep, per usual. Mm -hmm. um, now in the now in walks DJ with like twelve. It was probably like twelve glasses of of orange oh juice. Yes, she's like this ought to hold you for five minutes, which it didn't take her very long to pour twelve glasses. <laughs> and why they have like twelve to fifteen glasses? Of, like just I don't know. You know, I I do, I do uh, roast on. DJ quite a bit, but yeah. just think about it for a second. How much skill that takes to have twelve glasses? Obviously, it must be on a plate, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A big platter. Which? Why big, do they have that big platter? I mean, I'd be shaking the <laughs> shit out of that going up those stairs. Yeah. Twelve glass yeah. filled glasses. They were. They, there was not a drop on that plate. That's, that's uh, insane. I think. I think a waitress job is in her future. <laughs> <laughs> I would say so. So Danny tucks her in, tucks in Stephanie. I say tucks her in. <laughs> he, he tucks DJ in while she's holding the 15. That's even more impressive. <laughs> uh, so Danny tucks Stephanie in uh, while telling her he's going to be with her all weekend, except for tomorrow afternoon when he has to finish his special report on the Golden State Warriors. Old Steph, Stephen Curry. <laughs> 30 years later. <laughs> He was, probably wasn't even born. No. What? No. 88. 89. Uh, this 80, is 89. 89. Oh, yeah. I think he's our age. You think so? I think he is. I think you're wrong. Anyways. Well, that's for another episode, Kenny. <laughs> yeah. he, it's, but it's not. It's never going to come up again. <laughs> oh, I'm going to make sure you tell us Steph Curry's uh, <laughs> His age. age. So, uh... He gets to warm up, this is Danny's, gets to warm up with the team in full uniform and actually sit on the bench during a real game. Uncle Jesse informs that he has his dress rehearsal tonight. Oh, dress rehearsal. Oh, dress rehearsal. Okay, okay. Oh, see? I, I, see? I watched the episode, I took notes, and then I bitch about it and Ugh, wasted sh everyone's time. Wow. Damn it. Well, that calls for another beer, Kenny. Yeah, so... So he has his dress rehearsal tonight, his doo-wop show tomorrow, but other than that, he is all hers. And Joey says, and I'm available all weekend because, unfortunately, I'm available all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously that girl didn't uh, stick yeah, around. Karina is, is no more. Uh, then DJ says she has her first slumber party at Sally Penzo's house tomorrow night. So then Stephanie says, I don't mean to be rude, but I gotta get some rest. Out, 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 out. <laughs> uh, they just get out of the room and the air horn honks. Oh, Let's hear it. <laughs> 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 
they all come rushing in at once and she says just testing and they all like they all stare at joey all pissed off and joey gives like a shrug like well we will be do yeah i'd be like then you answer every mm -hmm. time that fucking horn goes off right so next uh danny and dj are setting dj up in the nursery i i know you're puzzled too because dj this this pissed me off dj said she had chicken pox already yeah so so what's the big deal why does she need to get out of the room that she sleeps in because like well does is dj really loud and is going to keep stephanie from sleeping uh, I, I i don't get it wouldn't it make more sense because uncle jesse is not coming home tonight right probably not. that's probably true so why not Put DJ or Stephanie in Uncle Jesse's well, room. Well, do either of them want to sleep? I mean, they, they better clean those sheets. <laughs> They're going to get more than just chicken pox, I guess, and be in that bed. Yeah. Yeah. So I understand completely yeah. why that bed is off limits. <laughs> so there's a little thing about how cute Michelle is. I don't remember what, but the air horn honks. <laughs> Danny says, uh, something tells me I need to check on Stephanie and kill Joey. <laughs> oh my gosh. So he leaves. DJ does a stupid thing with Michelle on, like, going to sleep. Um, then she says, oh, like a stupid, sit, lie down, all while pointing her finger. <clears throat> then DJ says, and, and Michelle ends up doing those things. She sits oh. and lies down. And DJ goes looks at her finger and says this is a good finger <laughs> like it's a gun oh and puts it, then puts it in its holster <laughs> it's just it's so stupid it's a stupid thing so now we're uh new scene danny in full uniform full warriors uniform is this the next day then? yeah yeah okay it's, it's like the next morning okay um he I'm runs ready to in go, man what yeah he's all ready yeah. to go he's, he's pumped man <laughs> Um, he runs into the kitchen to show DJ his basketball skills, and he's like, all Harlem basketball, Harlem gold, life. globe trotter in it. Uh, DJ's like inhaling her breakfast, like half. Like, what the hell does she have to get to? Well, he says, slow down. You're not supposed to chug a lug your cereal. <laughs> chug a lug. No, it cracks me up every time I hear chug a lug. Um, this isn't for that that sleepover. Yes. So they're picking her up in two minutes for the slumber party. It is morning. What is wrong with this family? What? Yeah. Like, I don't, like, if if my kid's having a sleepover, I don't want to see your kids at the ass crack of dawn. Yeah, exactly. You know, all your friends coming over? Now, do you think, do you think would maybe maybe they have plans all day like maybe the family that she's going on a slumber party okay. with is uh picking her up to do like uh, a zoo or uh right. something like okay. that maybe still i don't know anyways two minutes slumber party is gonna start and they're gonna come and pick her up so then down comes uncle jesse looking i mean he just looks like hell like just looks like <sighs> shit and at first i'm thinking oh dress rehearsal and she's, oh, yeah, rough night, night. Check one on the board for Uncle Jesse, I'm Here's sure. Here's a that night, huh? <laughs> but then Danny asks what's wrong, and he says he's fine. And then he lays his head on the table like a big clunk. Oh. So, just a hangover, probably. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I mean, a serious hangover. Then Joey comes upstairs, also looking like crap. And he says he has a fever and is sweaty, and it's obviously malaria. Look at all these mosquito bites. <laughs> So, then Danny says the obvious that. Uh, I think pox. you guys all got chicken pox. Yeah. Joey says, that's impossible. I'm immune. And Jesse says, you're immune to common sense. <laughs> so, their, their banter is like so, so weak at this that's, point. That's the worst banter. Those two have the worst banter yeah. of all oh, time. It's horrible. So, the phone rings and Uncle Jesse answers. It's his mom. It's Jesse's mom. Oh. Irene is back. Um, I love Irene. <laughs> he mentions that Stephanie and Joey have chicken pox. Because clearly, clearly he doesn't think he has chicken pox. Because he, he, he's still, he's like, yeah, it's it's a hangover. Yeah, right. <laughs> or, like, there's no way it's chicken pox. 
I'm just, I just had gotten back. I, you know, what time did he get back from his thing? Probably, I would imagine like three a.m. Yeah, three four a.m. Right? Yeah. I, I mean, mean, depending on where it was at and how wasted yeah. he got. And yeah. I mean, how we could hail a cab. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All San Francisco, it's not like it's just down the street, I'm right, sure. Right, It's downtown, I'm guessing. Exactly. Look at me being a <laughs> geographer around San Francisco. Yeah. So, uh, turns out that Jesse hasn't had chicken pox yet either. It was actually an allergic reaction to wool. <laughs> so, so, Danny says that, you know, he's in trouble now. He has two babysitters who can't go near the baby. Dun, dun, dun. He says he has to find a sitter. Then he looks at DJ. Just then the doorbell rings and she says, Well, gotta go. He says what a terrible <laughs> sister. <laughs> but, but I mean then Danny is is kind of a good dad because he, he just says, Alright, well, I'll start calling around. Tell, and he tells her, Go to your slumber party. So she like at, the hell go out to of there. slumber party at 9 a.m. It's fine. <laughs> like, you can't just wait until I can find a sitter. Yeah, exactly. That's true. I didn't think of that. So he starts talking to the guys about how he has 47 minutes to find a sitter. And he looks over and, and they weren't even paying attention. They were asleep on the table. <laughs> <laughs> so we get back from a uh, commercial and there is like some sneaky music didn't didn't <laughs> i don't know if it was the pink panther one I think, it, I was. think it was um so stephanie like peeks out of her room and she's in a trench coat a hat and glasses so she hears so stephanie sneaks out of her room and she hears footsteps it's uncle jesse coming upstairs so she ducks into the bathroom <clears throat> once he goes in his room she goes downstairs into the kitchen then hears joey coming up from his room so she hides on the steps, and Joey says, Oh, where's my bacon, eggs, toast, juice, and tea? <laughs> Danny, where are you? <laughs> Wait a minute. He wants all that when he has chicken pox? I guess. Wow. Okay. So what is it? Feed a, feed a cold, starve a fever? I don't uh, know. I thought we were still going to go with <clears throat> save a horse, ride a cowboy. <laughs> but if you want to go this route, okay. Yes, I guess. I guess. So Danny shouts, he's on the phone calling sitters. Joey goes, all right, I'll give you a hand. I'll write down exactly what I want. <laughs> <laughs> then he can't find a pen. <clears throat> so Stephanie from the stairs grabs a pen from the desk and throws it over. <laughs> and Joey yes. just kind of looks like confused because he's sick. So maybe he just didn't he's... realize a pen would fly off and... He's... He's that much out of conscious that exactly. he doesn't even care. Yeah. So she, when he throws the pen, when she throws the pen, he goes to get it. She takes that opportunity to sprint in the back of the kitchen towards the living oh. room. So then she uh, is like sneaking past Danny, who's on the phone, sitting on the couch. She's sneaking past him. Well, at least he's on the couch and not on the, <clears throat> on the armrest. Right. He picked a good spot <laughs> to sit this time. And so Danny on the phone goes... I've shot all the other footage and done all the interviews. Derek, I'm already in the suit. I look really cute. <laughs> and if you remember, Derek from Derek. From, from like the Aww. previous episode. Derek. Uh, so he's back. He's Derek's back, back again. <laughs> via the phone call. We didn't see him and, and his and his nasty looks that he gave him, but <laughs> it, it's good to hear Derek is back. Uh. So now Hope he we hear more of Derek. Yeah, Danny says he has thirty-seven minutes uh, to be there. So it's been ten minutes. A lot has happened in ten minutes. Yeah, they yeah, went yeah upstairs, really. downstairs, came back out. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So, so Danny rushes into the kitchen to help Joey, and uh, then you hear this like clearly dubbed over, like he's walking towards the kitchen. And you can tell that they had, like, Bob Saget record his voice and they filmed it over. Because he walks away and you hear, I gotta find a babysitter. <laughs> it's just really weird. Like, it's not natural sounding. That's, like, one of my favorites. I gotta find a babysitter. <laughs> so Stephanie has a, a wide open shot at leaving the house now. She's, like, booking it towards the uh, door. And then she hears, freeze. And Uncle Jesse's upstairs walking down. And he caught her. He's like, well, 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 what do we have here? 
So Stephanie changes her voice because she's, you know, disguised. It right. clearly doesn't look like Stephanie. Even though it does. <laughs> um, Stephanie changes her voice and goes, Hello, Mr. Cochran. <laughs> and he asks if, if he knows her. And she says, I'm my friend Karen. <laughs> Which I crack up. I'm my, my friend, friend Karen. Karen. Just, it's so cute because it's like a little girl trying to like Stephanie's come up with this best. lie. She says, I just came to check on Stephanie. Uh, he tells her to go up and say hi. And then mentions that she has chicken pox. And Karen says, chicken pox? I better get out of here. And so she like turns to the door. <laughs> And he stops her, and he says, Karen, you probably already got them from me. So then, uh, in her, like, normal voice, she goes, Uncle Jesse, you have chicken pox? <gasps> then he makes a face, of, like, about her talking normal and calling her Uncle Jesse, yeah. uh, calling him Uncle Jesse. Then as Karen, Stephanie says, I mean, Mr. Uncle. I mean, Uncle Cochran. I mean, Jesse. Mr. I mean... Uh, I, I can't uh, take it anymore. It's me. It's me, Stephanie. Oh, <laughs> uh, gosh. That. So, yeah, of course, he pretends he didn't know her, uh, that he he didn't know it was her. He talks about how she needs rest and can't go. He says, sometimes when you're sick, it means missing something you really want to do, but you got to be tough. She says, kind of like your doo-wop show. He gets all sad. My doo-wop show. Oh. But she, or uh, he gets all sad. Then she says, but you, but remember, you got to be tough. Grr. And he goes, grr. <laughs> Which earlier they did it backwards. backwards. You know what's great, though, is like, obvi like Uncle Jesse right now seems like the greatest father figure. Oh, yeah. To her. Better than Danny. <laughs> Better than Danny, who's like. I gotta get the hell out of here. There needs to be somebody that needs to watch my damn kid right, <laughs> right. now. So Other I, you, yeah, like I don't give a shit if you got pig, pig pox, pe pig pox. <laughs> po chicken, chicken pox, pox yeah. chicken pox. I don't care. Yeah, right. like I need to get out of here. Yeah, what a he great was, father figure right now. I know they needed is. that. They needed that. Yeah, their mom died, and they needed a better father, father figure. figure. <laughs> It's true. They don't need a better. They don't need a mother figure in their life. They, they need just a better need a better father. father figure, obviously. <laughs> so they they do this like uh, they say. Let, let's do the chicken strut, and they like do this uh, like weird chicken strut to get out of the to go upstairs again. Yeah. All right. So new scene. Um, we're down in Joey's room now. His room. Joey's. Place. Joey's place. Yeah. Joey and Uncle Jesse are applying the calamine lotion. Oh! They're probably, they're probably like sniffing this in so I'm much. telling you, gosh, I wish I would have been there. <laughs> Big old calamine lotion party. <laughs> You're missing out, a tub Kenny. of A tub of calamine lotion. Wrestle around in it. <laughs> It would be like a, it would be more like a, you know, like a mud wrestling. You know, you get to the little pool <laughs> with mud wrestling, yeah. but you just pour a bunch of calamine lotion in there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. that could be a thing. I don't know. I think it would be great. <laughs> get get you, get you in a white tee. Yeah. <laughs> I can call me Pink Panther after all that. <laughs> so, so downstairs, Joey and Uncle Jesse are talking about um, how having chicken packs is unfair. And Joey says, "You want to talk about unfair? Oh my gosh, this is a, this is amazing. <laughs> you want to talk about unfair? Let's talk about salmon." And Jesse's all confused. Joey, <laughs> confused. Joey, Joey continues and goes, Salmon wait their whole lives to swim hundreds of miles upstream, make love once, and drop dead. Now that's unfair. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, she's, she's right. <laughs> it is. But like, why would you why, think of that? Yeah, why does that pop in your mind when you think of unfair? Like, <laughs> honestly, honestly, though, that probably would be in my head. That's true. I, I can see that now you're going to think about that the next time. Yeah, uh, I'm sick. <laughs> Anytime I'm sick. So Jesse's still confused. Um, but he's, And he's like, and he goes, uh, what the hell are you talking about? He says hell again. 
He has said it, Mr. Potty Mouth. I, I, can't, I can't remember he, how many times he oh, said it. Oh, you're supposed to keep track. I know, I was supposed to keep track. It's like six times. Uh, I, I think we're up to nine. He needs to go one notch up and say like... You say six, I say nine. You better figure this out by next week. All right. I'll, I'll, I got it. I'm on it. So Joey says he's talking about making the best of a situation is apparently what he's talking about. Okay. Talking about the salmon. <laughs> I mean, you, you bone once and then you, you die. die. At least you boned once. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> One more than Joey's done. <laughs> <laughs> so then there's a, like a stupid thing about uh, being a wimp if you scratch. Oh, While you okay. have chicken pox, yeah. they, like a whole thing of, I'm not itching, and who will itch first, and, and like all this. Is it the three of them? Like, no, it's, okay. it's just it's Joey, Joey and Jesse. Jesse. Okay. But he's like, they do like this, like, I'm wondering, I'm wondering, not scratching. Because they're like <laughs> yeah. wondering with wondering, their face. Yeah, yeah it, it's really dumb. Then uh, Joey has an idea. If he scratches Jesse, and Jesse scratches him... They're still tough guys. Oh. <laughs> so they awkwardly are scratching each other and like they're rubbing. They, like, okay, like I get scratching so, like arms or, or right. like chest but, or back maybe, but then they start rubbing heads together. Yeah, that's a little weird. <laughs> that's a little weird. Uh, Even why? chests are a little weird. <laughs> yeah, it's it's rubbing chest. I don't know why I thought of chests as being normal. I guess I'm thinking if it was a girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That would probably be weird too if, like, uh, like Joey was rubbing like Uncle Jesse's like last night's girlfriend. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah that, that might be a little weird. weird. That would be weird. But I mean, a girlfriend or a wife. Okay, I'll rub yeah, your chest. Right. Oh, I'll scratch your yeah. chest. <laughs> so they're awkwardly rubbing heads together when Danny comes down with Stephanie, and they go. They're like rubbing, and then they go, "Hello," <laughs> and they're weird. Yes. And I've, it's the second time they've done this, like, awkward hello, so it's, like, officially a thing. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it expands more. Yeah. yeah. So, new scene, Danny's uh, back on the couch, um, on the phone, by Michelle. Uh, he asks, uh, Mr. Zuckerman, not uh, not to be confused with uh, Charlotte's Web, Zuckerman's <laughs> Oh, Zuckerman. Oh. Zuckerman's famous pig. That's all that uh, came in my head. Really? When because I I, in my head, it was, uh, who who owns uh, Facebook? Mm. Zuckerman? Is that Zuckerberg? Zuckerberg. Right? Zucker... Is that Zuckerberg? Zuck... Zuck... Yeah, I don't you might be right. I haven't been on Facebook oh, in yeah, that's like right. 13 that's right. years. Zuckerman's famous pig, remember? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I remember <laughs> Shark <Sharks> Web. <laughs> the greatest in uh, history. Dude, uh, I don't want to go off track because I know it's just, you know, but. The Rat and Charlotte's Web. Templeton. Templeton. Yeah, I was oh, him dude. in second grade in a play. I love Templeton. Mm. You think about that guy for a second, man. In that movie, man, he was scarfing down, like, <laughs> old donuts and, like, yeah. oh, I, uh, like, I always thought the, the slop that he was in, the shit he was in, was chocolate milk. Oh, man, oh. like, I thought he had the perfect life, dude. He, oh, yeah. You see, still, remember how fat he got? Oh, yeah. God. Until that egg cracked. Oh yeah, that <laughs> he had the life. He had the life. I don't know why he wanted to collect that egg either. He wanted that egg. I, I don't know. Uh -oh. Makes no sense. Uh -oh. Maybe they like him. <laughs> Maybe my rats. He's a, he was a rat. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. They like they like those uh, eggs. Templeton is the best character. Templeton ever. was amazing. Yeah. Favorite. He was my favorite too. And I was so I got to play him in a play, and I was so second grade, huh? I think first or second grade, really, something like that. I didn't even know there was a play. Yeah. Anyways, let's get back. I didn't mean to t totally steer yeah, us. He's on the phone with donuts. <laughs> He's on the phone with Mr. Zuckerman, um, and he asks if uh, Mr. Zuckerman's daughter is home and if she can babysit. And then it clearly sounds like she can't. So he goes, "What about you? Have you ever considered picking up extra money babysitting?" <laughs> uh, then he's hung up on, um, and that was the last one on the list. Last person in his, uh, what do you call, what do you call, it? Rolodex. Rolodex, <laughs> oh yeah. I don't think yeah. he had a Rolodex. You don't think so? I don't think so, but those are, those are cool. Well, maybe he'll go to, uh, Jesse's Little Black Book next. Maybe. <laughs> he could, probably could. So after he's hung up on, um, Danny turns to Michelle and says he can't, he can't interrupt DJ's first slumber party. He just can't do it. 
So then there's another new scene. We're back in the basement with Joey, Jesse, and Stephanie now. And they're all downstairs. Um, they're all, like, itchy. And uh, Stephanie is, like, scratching the bear. And Jesse and Joey have uh, the oven mitts and socks <laughs> on their hands. What? They got four, four <laughs> oven mitts in the house? No, it was... Somebody had oven mitts and somebody had socks. Okay. Oh, I was thinking maybe uh, Joey had uh, hockey mitts. Maybe. I don't think uh -huh. so, but okay, I, okay. that would make sense. Yeah. Uh, so, so Jesse um, is like spraying them with a can of something. Do you think it's like a, a calamine lotion? It was like a can. Like a... Tss, tss, like, it, it was like, it was almost like the well, oil uh, for the Tin Man or something. Uh, yeah, maybe it was, oh yeah, I remember what you're talking, maybe it was like itching lotion. Maybe, I don't know, seemed weird, but anyways, they go, ooh, like he sprays, <laughs> like, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, that's the sound of the men are working ooh. on the chain. Game. <laughs> oh, it was so... This is just chicken pox. I know. It's so. Uh, Can we uh, just watch TV and like hang out? Why do we gotta be so... so? A couple episodes ago, Joey was obsessed with Yogi, a Yogi Bear marathon. Yeah. He couldn't clean the house because a Yogi Bear marathon was on. Now you're sick and you don't have the damn TV on at all. So. <laughs> So Danny walks down and starts singing, Here's some tuna fish and soup, it's nutritious and delicious, and it's great to fight infection for the family that I love. That is such, that is a great line. That's great singing right there. It was. That's great. It, it was, but it was just so, it was, how do you come up with that? I don't know. For the moment like that. Um, they all just stare at him. They don't compliment his song at all. He just said, for the family that I love. And they just stared at him like he's an Screw asshole. You. <laughs> he, so he offers it to them and none of them want it. Um, cause they're all, they don't do it like rude, but it's just like, no, oh, I can't. I feel good. <laughs> Even though earlier Joey wanted like a smorgasbord. Yeah. He wanted a Templeton <laughs> style. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so all sad that he's going to miss the game. He like sits down by him. And yeah. down rushes DJ. And she goes, Hi, everybody! <laughs> the angels. The, the angels. angels sing. <laughs> so she says, She came to see if he needed a babysitter. Need one? And he says, Yes! And he runs over and hugs her. He starts going on and on about how terrific she is. He goes, You gave up your slumber party for me? And she says, yeah, there will be other parties. And now, cue the music, boys. We got the uh, sentimental music begins. Oh, boy. You guys ready? It's been All a right. while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. You're a little rusty. It's okay. So she continues um, that there will be other parties. And she says, Dad, you do so much for me. This is my chance to do something nice for you. Isn't that what being part of a family is all about? Oh, man. And he turns to the guys and he says, Do you hear this? And he turns back to DJ and he says, You really are growing up. And Joey says, She's growing into a very mature and responsible person. And, and Jesse says, Having him for an uncle is starting to rub off. <laughs> <laughs> so then DJ jokingly says, Well, if you aren't going to leave, I'm heading back to the party. He hops up saying, no, 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 I I'm leaving. Hell no, you stay here. <laughs> I'm leaving. I gotta get damn out of here. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so he just, then he starts up again and he's like, I'm, I'm just so honored to be part of this family. Guys, we really are doing something right. DJ, you are one terrific kid. Thank you. And he hugs her again and then leaves. You're doing something right because... <laughs> You're making your your daughter feel like shit. <laughs> that, <laughs> stay, stay home. And she says, well, you guys don't need anything, right? And they all start shouting at once all the stuff they need. Uh, my blanket, my pillows, my... Uh... And she does like this hand thing, kind of like a forget yeah. you. And walks upstairs and that's, uh, that's, that's the guys, end of the episode. Guys, I'm sorry. I haven't paid you yet from... 
previous time. So we'll <laughs> we'll get that pay. So all that episode, what is on the mind of Alex in this one? Well, I'm going to go back. Uh, I had a little pause earlier on. Right. I was thinking about uh, my pimples, right? God. So, yeah, <laughs> this is where it's going to go. Okay. It's so, has to. It, it has, has to. Here. So uh, I started no, to think when I had my first pimple. 12, 13? Probably. But man, I had this <laughs> huge pimple. Dude, it took up my whole my whole chin. My whole chin. It was the hugest pimple. I, I've never had another pimple like that in my life. <laughs> my whole chin. It was all red. Oh, oh, man. It was the worst pimple of my life. That's all I could think about this whole episode. <laughs> was that big-ass pimple. <laughs> I remember with you, we were playing... Mario, uh-huh. uh huh. Is it the first? I think it was Mario One, like the, the yeah, yeah on, uh, on Super Nintendo. Yeah, <laughs> and we were we were like we were our goal was to win it, win the win the game that night, yeah, or something. And we were we were doing good. We were Rainbow way Road, into baby. it, <laughs> and we were like stressing out because we were kept dying and all this yeah. stuff. And I remember you had to leave for a minute out of it was in my room we were playing. You had to leave and go to the bathroom because you had to pop. You had a stress pimple. Yeah. You were so stressed yeah. out. I just, I can still remember you being like, I gotta, I gotta pause. We gotta pause. Yeah. I have a stress pimple. I gotta go pop I got, this. I gotta pop that. You gotta it pop was, those, man. It was, a uh, oh. But yeah, that was on my mind the whole time. I'm like, man, when did I have that pimple? <laughs> but, you know, uh, other regards, I, I guess I am glad that Danny... Got to go to his game. It has to be a huge thing to be on the bench. Yeah. As a news... I mean, another thing, too, on my mind. How many, like, those basketball players didn't give a shit about Danny. Like, <laughs> right. oh. maybe back then, because I think they were terrible back in the Yeah, days, right. So. That's why they were so bad, because newscasters were sitting on, their sitting on the bench. <laughs> they needed the 10th man. <laughs> all right, is that all that's on the mind of Alex? Yeah, I think so. I mean, that's... All right, well... On, on to uh, Full House Trivia. So, this episode title is a take on the phrase, A plague o both your houses. Often quoted as, A pox on both your houses. Which is spoken by the character Marcuse, Marcuscio in the play Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. Ooh, so That's above my pay grade. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't uh, that's... pay attention to that stuff, but... Um, I but like I have they, heard a pox on both, on both your houses. I, I, I do feel like they put more, like, time into their, their titles. Titles. So yeah. They do the whole episode. So, <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. Yeah. So, and then the other, the only other trivia I found, this, this episode was pretty, I mean, there was, it was pretty lame. There was yeah. no guest star. There was nothing, yeah. uh, other than Derek on the phone. They were in the house was, the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was pretty, pretty blah, but, um, the Hoja make me spin. That they sang yeah. at the beginning, yeah, is actually by it's by a guy named Todd Run Rundgren. Okay, and that's it. That's all I found is I that, how much that it's actually like a that. song. It, it wasn't just a made up. I have to like, look it up. <laughs> Hold ya, make me spin. No, I gotta look that up. So the next episode of Full House is called "But Seriously, Folks, Folks, Folks." folks. But it's folks. But seriously, folks, folks. So. Can't that's, wait. That's a good episode. I, I like that one way better than oh, this yeah, one. I, I think, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. episode. I know this episode so well because I've seen it a lot. <laughs> I hate the episode. It's just, I just hate it. Yeah. You just, I mean, when you're in the house, chicken pox, I don't know how you made an episode out of chicken pox. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah. and not mentioned like sitting around watching TV. Yeah. Or... <laughs> right. That's all this episode needs to be. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, all right, now let's uh, let's quickly before Danny leaves. Yeah, we got to quick hop into the car with him. Oh, oh, <laughs> hold, we'll hold, on. hold on! I gotta grab the beer. Yeah, yes, grab the beer. Uh, we'll hop in the car with Danny. We'll drop him off at the Golden State Warriors Stadium. Yep, and then we'll take the car. Okay. From San Francisco Perfect. over to Chicago for, for a little bit of Family Matters. Uh, we'll put gas in it. Don't worry. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> You're paying for the gas, right? Uh, No. Uh, Danny left his wallet, so we're good. <laughs> Oof. Well, I'm interested to see what's going to happen here now, Kenny. 
All right, so we're in Chicago for some family matters. Um, is that good beer? It's good, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, after that long trip. <laughs> it held up all the way. <laughs> it held up with miles. Sorry about all those pee breaks, but we made it. <laughs> you just pissed in the, in the beer cans? Yeah, yeah. A little Dumb and Dumber style. Yeah. A little dumb. <laughs> Not gonna say I don't have any scratches, but right, you know, <laughs> some woody, woody tin. Well, you know, there's like paper cuts. Shouldn't there be like tin cuts or something? Like can cuts, aluminum can cuts. Yeah, aluminum can cuts, <laughs> aluminum cuts. Uh, so, family matters, <laughs> season one, episode fifteen. The title of this one is the Big Reunion. The Big Lebowski. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> The date on this one was uh, January 19th, 1990. IMDb rating 7.2. Oh. Sticking in the 7s. Yeah, we're doing good. Yeah. All right, we'll just get into this. Cold open starts with uh, In the Kitchen. Eddie comes in with Fred. His, his basketball. Oh, it's basketball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yours was Chad. This is, this is Fred. And uh, he asks Laura and Judy to tell Mom he's going to play basketball with some friends. Yeah. Oh. So apparently he didn't give up basketball. He's he plays just for fun. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, he doesn't want to do uh, competitive sports. Right. It's just his hobby. Well, I guess. It, yeah, it's a hobby. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't want to be a professional. What do you think he's gonna go play? What like uh, a little three on three action or pig? Oh, yeah, pig. I thought pig. Right. Yeah. Twenty or around the world. Around the world. Yes. I love around the world. All right. So Laura says, uh, "Tell tell her yourself. I'm not your secretary." And you know, like, Laura, he just was like, hey, can you tell mom I'm going to, like... Yeah. yeah no no it. respect. Just... But you got to remember, she was a bitch when she was younger in these episodes. <laughs> like... She gets better. Yeah, she, she does gets get better, better, everyone. But... <sighs> yeah. So Urkel comes in now, dressed for basketball, apparently. Absolutely. Still got those suspenders on, I'm oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Suspenders and a sweatband. Oh, yeah. You got to have that. <laughs> Hi, Eddie. You ready to dribble the old round ball? Shoot some hoops? Bang the boards? <laughs> uh, I can't. Bang, I'm going to say bang the boards. Bang from now the boards. <laughs> Eddie asks Urkel why he gets uh, his hopes up when he is never picked for a team. Oh, jeez. And Urkel says he was close last time. He would have made the team... If Sheila Schwartz hadn't shown up, Sheila. we're really testing my Sheila. lisp here. Sheila Schwartz was by the sheesh and got some sheesh <laughs> Down by the sheesh. And then swish a shot. <laughs> and then drink some sweet, sh shiny, shimmy tea. I don't know. I was trying to make that rhyme. <laughs> Eddie leaves then, and uh, Urkel goes over to Laura. So, Laura. Want to play some one-on-one? -on -one? Ooh! <laughs> somebody's banging those boards. <laughs> she says no, and then asks why he doesn't stick to chess. It's more his game. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wait, it's chess? Oh, it's a game. It's yeah. a game. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. What did you think it was? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not a athletic game. Right, right. It's a board game. No, he, uh, so Urkel says... Uh, he's been practicing basketball, and he, he tries to spin the ball on his finger, and it lands in Laura's ginormous bowl of oatmeal. Like, this yes. huge bowl. It was massive! It's able to fit a basketball in the bowl. That's how big a bowl it is. How what? much oatmeal are you eating? Was the big spoon around? I didn't see it in there, uh, no. But it probably that was. That family like, loves those big spoons. They do. They it's kind of like, honestly, that's how my mom is. Like, you know, like, everybody has typical spoons. Now they're not as big as the Winslow spoon. Right. But it's like a fucking serving <laughs> spoon I'm eating out of. Like, I can't even get my whole mouth in there. It's so big. And you have a big mouth. I do. All I've heard. I, I, I do. <laughs> All right, so, so the ball lands in her oatmeal, and Urkel does a, did I do that? And Laura says, no, it's the prize that came with the cereal. That'd be a sweet prize, but yeah. yeah I right. would. All right, so then uh, the credits roll. Do, 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 do. And, uh, and now we're all together, <laughs> coming is... down the steps. Oh. <laughs> that is not at all how the theme song goes, but uh, we get into the episode. We start out in the kitchen. kitchen. 
with the ladies serving up dinner. Oh, is uh, Mother Winslow there? Mm-hmm. Mother Winslow is there. Uh, Estelle is in uh, the kitchen. She's back. It's been a few episodes, but she's back. Hey, is that funny? I didn't even think about this. My chicken's name is Stella. Stella? Yeah, Stella. The, the one that one that eats out of my hand. Oh, right? Yeah. Her name is Stella. It's the only chicken we've ever named. Huh. And, because, and, it's, and it's named Stella. somewhat after... Well, it's a beautiful looking chicken. And it's... Mother Winslow is a beautiful lady. That's so true. That's true. But I, it's coincidence. I never even thought yeah. about it. No. Huh. Okay. Uh, Eddie barges in saying, uh, an amazing thing happened at work. One of the produce guys got fired. <laughs> And it's, we find out it's great because there's an opening in produce. Sweet. Um, speaking of which, I worked in uh, I worked in a grocery store. You did? I never worked in produce. No? I worked in the meat department. You beat meat? I beat meat. I bagged groceries. <laughs> I cleaned a bottle room. Yeah, you were the bottle guy. Yeah. And uh, did you ever, I was uh, cashier. Were you cashier? I was okay. cashier for a little bit. All right. So the uh, phone rings now and Harriet answers. It's Darnell. We don't know who Darnell yeah. is, but uh, she says, of course I know who you are. Carl's told me all about you. So she ends up saying that uh, Carl is going to be excited. Then she hangs up. So that's, how, that's the amount of info we have. Okay. Carl's going to be excited. She knows exactly who this person is. And we don't know anything. <laughs> so we find out uh, that this was one of Carl's closest friends in high school. Okay. Mother Winslow asks if it was Darnell Coleman Darnell Watkins or Darnell Clark. <laughs> He's <laughs> friends with that many Darnells in high school. Oh yeah. How do you keep track? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you'd probably call him Watkins. Hey, Wat- Clark. hey Waddy. <laughs> uh, okay. So it's gonna keep going because it's gonna get to uh, what I'm thinking. Okay. So Laura asks if all of Dad's friends were named Darnell. Mother Winslow says yes. Those were very confusing times. <laughs> And we find out it was uh, Clarky. Okay. The so, Clarkster. <laughs> so when he called then, he must have been like, this is Daniel Darnell Clark. Right. Okay. Probably. Okay. All right. So it was, uh, it was Darnell Clark. And uh, Harriet says, Carl has been telling her for years what great singers they all were. And now the kids are all surprised that their dad what? sings. Dad knows how to sing. <laughs> Wait, he's never... I mean, he... They're, it's they're, never came up. Yeah, apparently okay. not. He doesn't sing in the shower. He doesn't sing so, while cleaning. He, huh? No. So Mother Winslow says, "Yes, they were great. They were called the Darnells." <laughs> <laughs> Could it be like the Darnells and Carl? Carl and the Darnells, or Alvin and the Alvin and the Chipmunks. Carl and the Darnells, yeah. or the Triple D's and C, <laughs> like a. <laughs> C and the Triple D's. Something like that. C Cup and the Triple D's. C Cup and the Triple D's. <laughs> Damn. So like they should have had us come up with their yeah, name. They could have done so really the Darnells. All right. Darnells. So he's definitely replaceable. Yeah. Right. As soon as another Darnell comes along, Carl's, yeah, Carl's gone. Shot liver. So Carl comes in now. The, the kids ask about his singing group, and he's confused why they're asking about it. Harriet tells him that Darnell Clark called, and he's organizing their 20th reunion party. So this, uh, in context, next year yeah. is my 20th reunion. Isn't that... So Carl is like... It's the craziest show in the world. Yeah. Because I'll go back and watch these shows, okay? Yeah. I mean, we do. Yeah. Looking at Carl... I mean, I think of him as like my dad. Yeah, at age. he's not at he's that not time. My age. No, he's at not. all. And then, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> so Carl, Carl says he uh, he can't make it to his reunion party. He sounds like apprehensive about going. And Eddie says, "Yeah, once you're out of high school, why would you want to go back?" <laughs> and Carl <laughs> says, "I don't get to say this much, but Eddie's right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's true. It's true." So he says, uh, reunions are overrated. Mother Winslow says she went to her 50th reunion and spent the whole night dancing with Walter Simons. Okay, Walter Simons. And Laura says, sounds like you two hit it off. (laughs) And Mother Winslow says, we had to. We were the only ones there. (laughs) 
Harriet and Carl go into the living room and uh, Harriet is trying to make him go to the reunion saying one of the fun things is to see how people have changed. And Carl takes this as her saying he has changed and that he's fat. <laughs> he says <laughs> he says the Darnells were track stars and probably are in great shape. He's too fat to go. And uh, Harriet says if he's that concerned, he should go on a diet. Yeah. Uh, the reunion isn't for another month. Yeah, and, you can lose. You can lose some pounds. Some pounds. Uh, he says he has tried every diet out there and can't lose weight. He says I even fasted for a week and gained weight. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, wait. So it sounds like. The Darnells were really tight, right? They all were track stars. Yeah. Uh, How this, did Carl fit in this? Yeah, Carl wasn't. Obviously, it sounds like Carl wasn't a track star. Yeah. Well, unless okay, maybe they all were. Maybe they all hung out, and now Carl feels like he let himself go and bets that the Darnells didn't. Okay. You okay. figure he had to have been in great shape at one point. He made it as a cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah, mean, you right. can't you can't just be fat, fat and be a cop yeah. like you. You you make it and then you then you eat the donuts and chill You're and right. then you get fat. <laughs> yeah yeah right. I mean that's a good point. Right. So let's say so he now just now Rachel comes in from her workout and oh, she's uh, she get a big uh, woo! oh yeah because she was in her she was in her jumpsuit yeah the tight ass jumpsuit oh yeah Mickey the dog didn't ruin all her jumpsuits I guess <laughs> just one. Now, uh, Harriet tells Rachel <laughs> that dinner is in the kitchen, and Rachel says she doesn't want to eat. She's too pumped. She clearly was just... Too pumped! <laughs> I'm too pumped! There just, we go. She says, just a lemon and water. Then she Ooh, says, forget name. the lemon. I'm watching my weight. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that. It's the only way I drink water. That's the only way you drink water is with, with lemon. lemon. I will not just drink a standard water. That house has to have, <laughs> my house has to have lemons in there. I can't. Do you I have like a dish full of yep. lemons? Yeah. Cut them up? 100%. Oh Each glass of water takes a half a lemon. Well, now I see why you've gained a lot of weight. Right? Uh, all honestly, it's all, it's all, it's not the beer, it's all the lemon. It's all lemon. A lot of acid in lemons, I hear. I guess. Yep. I don't know. Yep. I, I just drink water normal. Like, like. You're weird. <laughs> All right, so Harriet, uh, like, glares over at Carl, and uh, Harry says, Are you thinking what I'm thinking? And Carl says, Not if it means getting Rachel involved. <laughs> he, sa uh, he says he doesn't want anyone to know why he's not going to his reunion. Just then, Rachel re well, who's asking? <laughs> right. Well, he, I think he's just giving Harriet, like, okay. uh, hey, like, this is I don't want to get Rachel involved, because I don't want her to know why I don't want to go to right. my reunion. Right. Just then, Rachel re-enters the room and asks what they're up to tonight. What they were up to tonight. And Harriet says, We talked about how fat Carl is. <laughs> then Harriet says he doesn't want to go to his reunion because he's embarrassed by a little extra weight. Just, just a he minute just... ago, Carl said, I don't want anyone to know. And now you're... And I just... Harriet... Bugs me. She yep. always does this. She's a shit shitster. Yeah, that's what she is. A yeah, a shyster. A shyster. <laughs> so it makes more the pot. It makes more sense now why Carl would just jump to like. I don't want anyone to know why I'm going to the reunion because he knows his wife is going to tell everyone. His wife's going to tell everyone. His wife makes fun of him. His mom makes fun of him. <laughs> She's going to get like a bullhorn out <laughs> in yeah. the neighborhood. <laughs> Carl doesn't want to go! Because he's fat! <laughs> Alright, so Rachel talks to him about it. She says, if he loses a few pounds, will he go to the reunion? And he says yes. She says, as long as he's committed to the special diet and exercise plan that she puts him on, she guarantees he will lose weight. Alright. And, and he, he agrees to it. So, is Rachel a... Uh... <laughs> fitness instructor yeah. now like she all right now like he says something about 
going on a diet and she's like, oh, let me see in my yeah, in my me, brain here. Me, There's a lot of different diets and exercise plans I can get you on to guarantee you'll lose what like she Yeah. It's not like she's been She's a jack of all trades, yeah. man. She Jeez. knows cars, she knows <sighs> fitness, she knows baking, baking now. Yeah. She's just That's right, because she <laughs> Yeah, golly. <laughs> All right, new new scene. Uh, they're in the kitchen at the dinner table. Do we Rachel... have to go to a new scene? <laughs> <laughs> Rachel's still in this. Oh, no okay. okay. Uh, she's pouring water for Car Carl. And they're all scooping up lasagna. And Carl looks like miserable slash piss. And he says, uh, Harriet, this diet is torture. <laughs> I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy. My vision is blurred. And I'm short of breath. <laughs> it's all, it just started. Harriet tells him to grow up. It's only been 12 hours. 12 hours. <laughs> Vision, vision's blurry. Dizzy. And what was the other one? Short, short of breath. breath. Yeah. <laughs> all from 12 hours of this diet. Jeez. How much does he eat that 12 hours is killing him? <laughs> So Laura asks for more lasagna, and as they pass it, Mother Winslow says, Do you think you can pass this past the jaws of life? <laughs> and then Carl tries to keep it, and he says, To breathe in the tomato sauce. <laughs> and uh, there's a little conversation about how Eddie didn't do so hot in his produce attempt. Oh, boy. I guess he... he what happened? He aced the written test. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why is there a written test for produce? produce? <laughs> but he sprayed two customers and his boss with the hose when trying to water the lettuce. <laughs> what? How do you do that? Is that funny, too, how, how much things have came, came since then? Yeah, because now you, you like, walk, in, walk up to produce and all of a sudden it's like... Tss, like, well, but do they still do the thunder? <laughs> some some grocery stores do the lightning and thunder. Really? Yeah, it gives you a warning oh, before the cool. mist starts that's coming. Pretty... You never been? Oh. No. Ah, oh, man, it must be fancier grocery stores yeah. that I go to and you don't. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you need to go to these fancy ones. You got to get lemons all the damn time. <laughs> <laughs> that mist and lemons. Oh. Uh, it would be cool if, like, all the lights started flashing, too. <laughs> that would be cool. really make it dramatic just to get your lettuce. <laughs> and warn you that you're going to get sprayed if you reach it. Like a strobe light starts. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, but yeah, anyways, right. I have to say, like, it it's came a long way because I know they used to yeah. take the little holes. Well, you know why? They probably had so many employees fail because they yeah, sprayed they customers. Spraying customers everywhere. <laughs> we got to get these, these kids these automatic ones. everyone. We got to get these automatic ones. Okay, so so he still has a shot, though, he says. Um, it's between him and two other guys. The, the other guys are better with the hose, but he's the smartest. What? Whoa, okay. I think, I think Laura makes a joke. How do they make it to work? <laughs> <laughs> so, so then uh, Rachel now brings over Carl's dinner. Ooh. It's some steamed broccoli. Okay, all right. And three stalks of asparagus. Oh. The steamed broccoli is like literally like one huge broccoli. Oh, and yeah. Three stalks of asparagus. And Carl That's says, it, huh? Yeah. And Carl says, I've had more food than this stuck between my teeth. <laughs> All right, so we go to a new scene. It's now late at night, and Carl is sneaking into the kitchen. He turns the lights on quietly and sees that the fridge has, like, a bike lock on it. Okay, the okay, whole yeah. Fridge. Um, he struggles to open the fridge and says, I can't believe this. My own family doesn't trust me. <laughs> <laughs> he then sees a note that says, Dear Carl, have a glass of water and go to bed. Jeez. <laughs> then he remembers his candy stash above the display case. Oh, there. yeah, yeah. The, the, like the, the fine china yes, cabinet. Yeah. yeah. And he climbs up, and, and there's another note. Dear is, Carl. Is there, like, like doo-doo, doo-doo <laughs> music playing, too? I feel like there, I feel like there is, which is funny, because Stephanie was sneaking out yeah. with the Pink Panther music. I, I, and I, I, but I don't remember. I'll have no, I to can't. look back, but I thought it was some kind of, like, me, I can't be just silent. Right, right. Yeah. It would be funny if there Cause, was. Because he was trying to be stealthy yeah, during all this. Yeah. 
<laughs> so he so he climbs up there's another note and it says uh dear carl nice try now go to bed <laughs> he goes i need food <laughs> he looks in the little pantry and is going through like condiments and then he finds baby food <sighs> And he finds strained spaghetti and meatballs. Oh, gosh. Yeah, no thanks. Uh, uh, he opens it up. I always hated baby food. <laughs> he opens it up and he uh, can't get the ginormous spoon into it. Shocker. But, yeah, the big spoon's coming into play. <laughs> that little thing, yeah. It's like clink, 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 because he still tries. <laughs> uh, then he grabs the drawer for a smaller spoon. And like when he grabs it, he he's like frantic. So he grabs the whole the whole drawer. Just you you've ever had these problems before in the middle of the night when you get like you're hungry? No, I mean I never like am frantically hungry. Okay, okay, all right. But I eat a lot during like the, my kids go to bed and then I'm like Devouring a ravenous everything. like monster. So so I I kind of feel for Carl on this a little bit. I wake up at three in the morning. And I'm like, oh man, I'm really hungry. Like <laughs> three like in a, the morning. Yeah, it's just fill your Reese's cups. Just a quick Reese's cup. <laughs> yeah, right. So I go over. To, we actually do have a cookie jar. <laughs> so I go over to the cookie jar and like I'll open the the lit the lid up. But then like sometimes it'll just like bang, bang, bang. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit! Like I've been quiet this whole time, and now I'm like loud. It's loud, you know? I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope nobody heard me. Same with, like, if I open the fridge, I swear something always falls out of the fridge. <laughs> like, our fridge is packed full of shit constantly. <laughs> right. There's so many different damn drinks in that fridge. So something, that is, it just seems like every time I try to do something in the middle of the night, it's extremely <laughs> it's loud. loud. <laughs> ah, so I feel for Carl, that's what I'm saying. I feel for him, too. <laughs> so then he finally, he grabs the, he grabs the drawer for a smaller spoon, but then Harriet yells, Carl, is that you? <laughs> he quickly rushes into the laundry room to, hi to hide. But there's uh, utensils and crap on the floor. Right. And uh, Rachel and Harriet go down and they s and uh, to see what's happening. And then they see, they kind of see the, the breadcrumb trail yeah. to, the, to the laundry room. They push open the laundry room door and he's devouring this baby food. Like, <laughs> shouting down. And Harriet says, Carl baby food that's pathetic <laughs> then rachel then rachel miss uh workout instructor personal trainer says hand it over <laughs> so now we're uh commercial break and we come back we have uh carl in the living room on a bike and he's watching tv uh while biking and food commercials keep coming on and he keeps and he keeps changing it's like you know, one food, then chick, and another food Dude. commercial, chick, and then uh, Judy and Laura come in with cupcakes. Judy! <laughs> yeah. But she, uh, they set cupcakes down on the coffee table, which is like right by Carl. They leave them there. So when they leave, Carl st uh, stares over at the cupcakes. Then he takes the bike and like bump, 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 bounces it over to which the coffee table. Which is actually cake. pretty impressive. <laughs> Those old school Those bikes were heavy. heavy. Yeah. This didn't look that heavy, though. This looked okay. like a cheap... It, well, it was a big, brand. Ma big band, though. <laughs> right, yeah, that's true. He makes it look smaller. Yeah. I guess. Huh. So he he bumps it closer, and he still couldn't quite reach the cupcakes. <laughs> then Laura comes down, and, and he, like, bump, 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 <laughs> bounces it away. He's just losing a bunch of calories. Yeah, biking you. and bouncing. I think I could do it. Yeah. And she, Laura comes down, she says, uh, she didn't mean to leave them there. And she picks them up, and she leaves with them. And then Carl goes, <laughs> <laughs> starts crying. Rachel then enters, saying it's been 15 minutes, and he's done. And she says, he's stuck it out for the first week with her, and she's proud of him. And then she says, it's time to kick it into high gear. Drop and give me 50! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> 50 push-ups? Yeah. He, like, stares her down, and then he, then he gets down, and... and Tries to doing, attempt them. Yeah, he's doing push-ups. Okay, I guess. So now we're uh, new scene. Eddie comes in the kitchen to Harriet and Mother Winslow, Judy and Laura, and I guess he got the produce job. <laughs> he's, Hell yeah! He's wearing his apron that says "produce," and then it says underneath, "Ask me about our tomatoes." <laughs> and Laura says, 
So how are your tomatoes? And Eddie says, hmm, I don't know. Why do you ask? <laughs> Dumbass. He has no clue what that apron even says. Right. Now uh, comes Carl into the kitchen, and he looks mad. He's in his robe. And it, <laughs> Carl first says congratulations on the job to Eddie, and then asks about the tomatoes. And Eddie says, I don't know, and why does everyone keep asking me about that? <laughs> So it's time for, the reason he's wearing his robe is it's time for his weigh-in. Okay, okay. He doesn't want to go on the scale, though. Does he have clothes underneath? <laughs> just a robe. I would guess shorts. Okay. Maybe. 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 I don't know. <laughs> so he, he doesn't want to go on the scale, though. But Rachel says he can go on and no one will look. Yeah. Because okay. you can clearly trust this family. <laughs> yeah. Right. He makes sure everyone has their heads turned. And he gets on, and of course, everyone peeks, peeks over, over. <laughs> looks over his shoulder. Was everybody, like, standing up? And he's like, don't look. Yeah, they were all standing right, right behind there. him. Yeah. And he says he lost 11 pounds. In a week? I don't know if this has been a week, because it had been a week, but then we were in a new scene. So, so maybe two weeks. Yeah, maybe. Wow. Well, uh, there was a month before the that, reunion, so... That's pretty impressive. Either way, no matter what, a yeah. month or less. Yeah. That's 11 pounds. Yeah. So so everyone's excited, and he says he's going to the reunion. And Harriet says she'll call Darnell and tell him that Carl can sing. Then Carl gets, like, all scared because he doesn't realize he needed to be in front of everyone singing. Right. And now he says he isn't going to the reunion. So we're back, uh... back to square one. <laughs> All right, so new scene. Carl is uh, scooping some ice cream. Harriet walks in and says, "You eat that, and you can kiss your diet goodbye." <laughs> and he he picks up the ice cream carton and he kisses it and says, "Goodbye." <laughs> <laughs> so, so then uh, Carl goes on a rant about how there's too much emphasis on being thin these days. Absolutely, you go, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> he says he has always been bigger. As a baby, I was chubby. As a kid, I was husky. And now as an adult, I'm big boned. So we don't know what happens in between in his teenage years. That's true. And, like I said, I said to become a cop, he probably was fit. I, I'm thinking the Darnells were track stars and he just knew them through singing. Must be. Yeah. But he says, uh, you know, all that about being, being a big big kid and he says but for as long as i've remembered i've been happy absolutely and harriet then says uh yes <laughs> you have an <laughs> asshole family but right. yes you're happy they call you fat all the time <laughs> yeah they remind you constantly that you're fat but uh harriet then says uh if he's happy why does he care what others at the reunion are gonna think think picturing yeah. back did he gain that much weight if he's I mean, if he's he's never been fit. Yeah, if he was a husky kid, a yeah. chubby baby, big ball, I, I I imagine he was a bigger guy. Yeah, I can't imagine him being like. So nobody's gonna be like, "Holy shit, Carl gained like two hundred pounds." Yeah, no. Yeah. So, anyways, he says he isn't worried about everyone, just the Darnells. And now the uh, sentimental music, guys. <laughs> All right, so the music is going, and Harriet says. But if they're if they're still his friends, they'll only care about how he is doing. And uh, he says, "Forget the ice cream." Then he wants to be sure he can fit into his suit for the reunion. Then he says, "Besides, the only sugar I need is you." Oh, so pretty short-lived sentimental music. Yeah. But there it was. Yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> That's why we don't pay them much. Yeah. They're, they're only here for. You never know how long it's gonna be. Right, yeah. So now we're at the reunion, and there's nice little uh, there's a nice little jazz band playing as Harriet and Carl come into the school gym. <laughs> do we think do we think this gym is the same one that Eddie plays in basketball? Of course it is. <laughs> that Carl can walk yeah, into at any time. How many gyms is there? That's <laughs> probably how they got the reunion there. Yeah. Carl's like, oh, anyone yeah. can just walk in here at any time of night. I got the keys. <laughs> or if there is even keys. <laughs> the door's always unlocked. Well, yeah. You just jiggle it a little bit and it, yeah. it opens. So <laughs> there's this like super old lady sitting to check people in. And Carl says, Miss Gilbert. And Miss Gilbert says, 
wait a minute. You're Winslow. <laughs> she goes, you know, you never handed in that book report on Silas Marner. Oh my gosh. And he says, oh, my dog ate it. <laughs> she says, she like does a little, <laughs> same old Winslow. <laughs> How the goes, hell does she, is, that must be stressing her out. Well, no, the thing is, she recognized that it was Winslow. Did he gain that much weight if she recognized nope. that it was him? No, nope. Come on. You are right, Kenny. Yeah. So now uh, Russell Wilcox says hey to Carl. What's up with these names? And they, uh, they realize. It could be like Russell Smith. No, yeah. it's no. Russell Wilcox. Cox. Uh, they, they realize that they sat by each other in homeroom. <laughs> and then there's, there's this weird little thing where Carl introduces his wife. This is Harriet. And Russell says, and you remember my little woman. <laughs> and she then, she then says, don't little woman me. <laughs> and then they start arguing. And oh. she says, how about this? I want a divorce. Oh my gosh. I'll wait for you in the car. <laughs> oh my gosh. At the class this, reunion? Yeah. All this because Carl introduced his wife. And then she, he introduced her as little woman. <laughs> Wait, 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 uh, 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 before we go farther, yeah. it, it's like, none of these people remember each other. Like, yeah. Like, 20 years isn't that long. I can still be like, yeah, I remember we took that class together. It's, I wouldn't be like, oh, we did take that. Like, yeah. I don't know. Right, right. Like, seems, I mean, 20, seems oh, like some Mother Winslow's reunion, had there been more than two people. Yeah. That I can understand. I get oh, did we sit by each other? But 20 we, years, yeah, that's 20. not that long right. ago. But anyways, he, Russell says, Good, I'll be at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> and then Carl basically tells Harriet it, uh, that they were voted the class Romeo and Juliet. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like, like Carl... Being called fat constantly. Yeah. Maybe yeah. her family makes fun of her for being short. <laughs> Maybe. Or little. Yeah. So and it's s- like... That was the, the straw, straw that, that broke the camel's back. <laughs> oh, you got to say that right. <laughs> Woo! All right, so... Do you think it was a double hump camel or a one hump <laughs> camel? <laughs> I don't think... I don't think that matters. Okay. <laughs> Just on it. I know you... I know humping is always on your mind. <laughs> <laughs> double hump or one pump? One hump. Anyways, go on. <laughs> All right. So someone uh, starts yelling for Carl and then hugs on him. Oh. And Carl has no idea who this huge man is. Oh. It turns out it's Darnell Watkins. Hey! Not the one that called. All right. All right. The other one. Wat- Waddy. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Well, What's well, a good name for Watkins? Uh, that's, that's great. Waddy. Yeah. Waddy. They, uh, they hug and they're like going nuts and they introduce wives and stuff and then his wife darnell's wife talks about how he went how he didn't want to go to the reunion because oh. he was a little heavy okay okay uh but he went on a diet and lost three whole pounds oh okay okay, okay. remember carl lost 11. 11 and uh then someone else yells carl the other darnell says well waddy says oh it's darnell and darnell go easy on them They've kind of let themselves go. <laughs> and they come over, and they are huge. <laughs> they are big which, men. Which now, Darnell Waddy yeah. recognizes them. Right. Are they? Are the Darnells still I think that they're all, like, <laughs> close friends. Yeah. And Carl was on the outs He's, the whole time. Yeah. He they was, just used him for his voice, I guess. Yeah, I maybe. mean. Maybe he had the angel voice, and they they were more like the like uh, in Full House. They yeah. did the doo wop, right. right? Maybe the Darnells were more the do do do, and then Carl was the the main boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Darnells were that background noise. You do think about it, though. I mean, it's kind of sad for Carl. I mean, like I bet they all three of those Darnells are like still close. Oh yeah, and like they have Carl a group. They have a group like, chat going. And yeah. Carl- <laughs> So he says, go easy on him. They, they come over. They're huge. Then uh, a whole Darnell Carl. Darnell Carl. Darnell. It was, uh, so weird. So weird. Nobody would ever do that no, shit. No. And there's, uh, there's more hugs. 
Uh, they all, uh, they're all saying how small Carl is, and they make jokes about him being skinny. <laughs> yeah. and, and Carl says, uh, they need to go practice. He's all, like, giddy. He's like, he says they need to go uh, practice for their song. <laughs> he's, he's so excited, because he wants to, now he wants to be on stage next to these baddies. <laughs> I'm guessing, like, the note, like, Carl put so much time on making sure he wasn't fat. Does he even know what song he's singing? Right, yeah. Did yeah. they, yeah, because Darnell talked to Harriet. Yeah. They don't even know what they're singing. Fat boys are back. <laughs> <laughs> fat boys are back. Like that, that's a song, yeah. No. <laughs> Look it up. Who's, who sings it? Uh, I think the Fat Boys. It's Fat Boys. <laughs> the Darnells. The Darnells. <laughs> All right, so they say, the Darnells say okay, and then they uh, they need to go get something I really first. need a computer so I can look up this shit. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You do. You need to get, we need to get more high tech. Yeah, computer. sorry. <laughs> so the Darnells say they uh, they need to get something to eat first before they go up and practice. Yeah, absolutely. It's been five minutes. So they need a snack. <laughs> <laughs> Carl then goes over to Harriet and, and thanks her, and, and he tells her he loves her. She says, I love you too, skinny. <laughs> and he rushes off, and then um, it switches, God, like, right away. She's such a, like, uh... She stirs that pot, but yeah. then to keep him reeled in, she makes nice comments. Oh, like yeah. That. Oh, yeah. Fluffs him up a little bit, and then knocks uh, him right down, no. and then fluffs him up, and knocks him down. Golly. So then it switches over to them singing. And uh, I can't think of the beginning of the song, but uh, it's the because it shows Carl like on stage, and he's yep. he's singing like so sweet. He's good, good voice, but it's the Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me now that I can do? So the whole gymnasium is like going crazy too with his singing, and it's it was actually fun to watch. Like the this, yeah, no, it was good, it was good. Because because up to this point, you haven't seen Carl like let his let his let hair loose. down. Yeah, yeah like right. he's this. <laughs> hair. Yeah, that, yeah. Might, that might be the other reason I feel like Carl's way older than us. Because you and I both have hair. Yeah. <laughs> he he's is been like bald, bald forever. <laughs> so, anyways, and he does like the I can mash potatoes. I can mash potatoes. What the hell is all. that? He's What's mashed mashed potato? potato? The twist. I don't know what the mashed potatoes is. I can't think of the dance move. It's. Something is like, it the, the hand between the late like this? Something like that. I, I believe so. I think it's smash potatoes. It's like kids nowadays. They do that dumbass uh, floss. Yeah, the floss. floss. The floss. Floss. Oh, that must be been... gritty. The gritty. Yeah. <laughs> did we ever? When we were growing up, did we have? I don't think we had like dance. The Macarena was big uh, back, but it wasn't like a. Uh, no, there was no like. You didn't see somebody like walk past and be like, "Hey, the bummer!" Yeah, uh, 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 you know. Yeah, no, no, there were no dance moves in our day. Yeah, so uh, then everyone cheers on the Absolutely. thing, and uh, that's the end of the show. Wow, end of the episode. But uh, so now that that was the end of the episode, what's on the mind of Alex in this one? I, <laughs> I feel like I said so many things during the episode. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh. The thing about, like, uh, uh, what's the son's name? <laughs> Eddie? Eddie, like, that was the stupidest plot line. Oh, yeah. It what makes no sense. Do... And now, now, you are all about the future, and I try right. and keep the future stuff uh, a, a secret here. Right. Is his produce work, like, a big thing? Because... It just right. feels like a build-up to him being like... Like, it's going to start talking about, like, the grocery store. Yeah. The grocery store is going to be, like, the new kitchen. <laughs> right, that. right. Because uh, we know that they don't like to stray far from that kitchen or living room. I, but, uh, yeah, like, why is this such a big deal that he... Yeah, just just a filler. A f yeah. total filler. Just like all the crap with Rachel up to this point. And, and do you think that, like... He was bringing home vegetables for his dad to eat? Maybe. 
Because he's the produce. That's all. That's Dude, a was he a manager? Produce manager. No, no. This oh, okay. Was just getting into produce. Just getting into produce, and yeah. he had to go through all those. Uh, Maybe tasks? he took he took all the damaged produce home. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Some broccoli and some. So I said I, I worked in the meat department. Yeah, you beat meat. Yeah, we know. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, my my manager there said if there's damaged meat. Or like, you know, like the beef sticks or yeah. uh, Lunchables, if it's damaged, if it's cut open, you can eat it. Oh. And beautiful. I I never did. You were a good guy, huh? Well, yeah, because I thought it was a test. Ah, My manager yeah, yeah. is telling me yeah. if there's damaged stuff, you can eat it. And he even, he took a thing of like 50 beef sticks and right. he used the box cutter and went <laughs> and cut it open and, and then ate it me. and then ate some of it and then put it in like the damaged pile and I'm like, I was so tempted sometimes to go oh. get some. But I'm like, is this a test? Is he going to catch me? And then I'm fired. Now you look back and I was like, oh, I'm really like, fucking cares. I should have done it. <laughs> I, I look back and I'm like, damn it. I could have ate so much. <laughs> I could have had so much meat, meat back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like, now you just wouldn't even... No, Give a shit. no. So I'm, I'm guessing, Eddie, the steamed broccoli and the, and the asparagus... Yeah. Eddie hooked him up. Do you think during production of this, like, uh, the story, do you think that they wanted to put, ask me about my melons? <laughs> or, like, ask me about my cu cucumber, like, <laughs> yes. sign or something? Yes. Like, like and they were like, no, we can't. Let's just, can't. let's it's, just it's do it. It's a family tomato. show. We gotta... But I, I'm just wondering, because ask me about my tomatoes, that just seems so random. Yeah. Like, right. it should have been, like. <laughs> they should have had, they should have had some melons up on the chest yeah. part. Before we end this, can I tell you a, a funny story? Yeah. So, obviously, uh, I think we've talked about it a couple times now where um, I, I own a produce stand, right? Right. So, one time, uh, I remember my mom goes, hey, like, she grabbed two uh, uh, cantaloupe or muskmelon. She goes, are these bells big enough? She's holding them up like that. And I was like, what the hell are you doing? You can't. Was, was she doing it to be fine? I think so. I, I It's been a couple years now, but I think so. And I was just like mortified. I'm like, what the? What is my mom doing right now? It was funny, though. Oh, it was God. funny. All right. So with that, uh, moving on to uh, Family Matters trivia. So this uh, this episode marks the first re reoccurring appearance of Ron Taylor, who's the actor. Um, he would later portray Pastor Peebles. He was one of the right. Darnells. Yep, yep. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was Coley, Col, 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 yeah. the Colster. Which? <laughs> okay. My question with this, like, now how does? I hate it with shows when they reuse a character like this. Yeah, right. Like, he's Darnell. He should not be on the show again unless he's Darnell. Yeah, right. So, like, did he impress Offset? Like, did he... Was he, like, a great guy that they were like, you know what? Let's, we got a, we we got got a future role for you. Hang tight. Like, I, oh, I don't know. Or it could have been, like, a whole new thing. Like, uh... Darnell, like... Yeah, Pastor Darnell. Par Pastor Darnell. <laughs> and it could have been, like, the Winslows going to a new church. Mm -hmm. And, like, oh, it's Darnell! Darnell's yeah. a pastor? Yeah. It could have been a whole episode. Right. Like, I feel like nobody was thinking about this yeah. shit back then. So, off topic completely, because yeah. I'm a huge How I Met Your Mother fan. Right. If you've ever watched the show, I, I I'll it. get into that yeah. in a minute about How I Met Your Mother. But they they hated this sort of stuff. The, the writers, creators, hated the continuity issues. Yeah. So they had a big blackboard that, like, navigated through this. And they were making we, sure, like, if we have this person, they are going to be that person. Right. And we're not screwing this up And we later. can bring them back for, like, same character. And they can portray, like, or they can be, like, a newsman. Or right, something. right. But they have to but be But we have person. to have a backstory of how they got there, there. you know. Yep. And that's what, like... I noticed that with Family Matters and Full House and a bunch of... Sh I mean, yeah. any show you watch, yep. you, you see a character and you're like, no, that's that's so-and-so. Right. Or, or like a new a new grandma comes on and you're like, yeah. that's not the grandma that was there. It just bugs me. Yeah. So, anyways, but I, I just wondered if he impressed 
and became Pastor Peebles, I guess. Yeah, right. That's pretty cool. Um, the other that trivia is- I got is uh, Miss Gilbert, the old lady, yeah. um, is portrayed by Ellen Albertini Dow. Beautiful name, but... <laughs> She is best known for You're the... looking at me like I should know her. <laughs> I should know she, her. Yeah, come on, it's Ellen. Yeah, oh. Ellen... Not, Be generous. <laughs> yeah, not, not that Ellen. Um, she is best known, to me at least, for being the rapping grandmother in The Wedding Singer. Okay, yeah. Who performed yep. The Rapper's Delight. I do the hip... Hop, hip, 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 hop. Love her. <laughs> oh, that was best. She was also in uh, Wedding Crashers. Wait, you just said wedding crashes. No, wedding singer. Singer. Oh, she okay. loves her wedding. Yeah, she, she's a wedding lady. <laughs> wedding singer, wedding crashers. Um, but she died in 2015 oh. at the age of 101 years old. Okay, did she never had like a an no, actual she, TV show? Where I don't she was, think she okay. was a big. Right. She was well, just, that's actually really cool though for her though. If you think about it, I mean, yeah. you're in Hollywood. But you're not like you're just that like side character through your whole. Yeah, I would love that. That'd be That'd perfect be cool. for me. That would be. Why cool. I didn't have an actual show, I just pop be bopped around on different sitcoms yeah. and, or movies. Yeah, just and you're thing. known like oh the rapping grandma. Yeah, I know who exactly who that is. Yeah, like that's, that's the first awesome. thing that popped in my head when I saw her. All right, so the other uh, trivia is uh, earlier I mentioned the book, uh, the book report on Silas Marner. Oh, sorry, sorry, I just skipped through that. I, I don't read books. <laughs> you fall asleep with them on your chest like Carl does. I don't even know if I have a book. <laughs> <laughs> so this book uh, uh, was written by George Eliot. Okay. I know you really care about the uh, ins and outs of this book. I think I'm going to go take a piss while you talk. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, so Silas Marner is a classic novel. Um, a review said it's a classic novel of hope and redemption about a man named Silas Marner who was wrongly accused of theft, which was actually committed by his best friend. Uh, how, 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 <laughs> so, how are we tying this in? So, well, it's. I just wanted to give you some history on a book, whether you wanted to know it or not. But All right, so the next, the next episode of Family Matters is The Party. Oh, I have a feeling Eddie's involved, and who else could be involved? Should I say? (laughs) Because who do you think is going to be involved? Uh, Rodney! I I believe Rodney's involved. Uh, Yes! All right, so love uh, us some Rodney. So stick around for that. The party is next week. Yes. Um, I earlier I mentioned there was a new segment of Where Are They Now? Yes. And uh, well, since uh, since we mentioned earlier that Bob Saget had passed away, yes, I figured it would be it would be easiest to start with him because his post TGIF news won't won't go any further. Right. Um, but. Uh, most known as Bob Saget from Full House, um, but he also hosted America's Funniest Home Videos. Right. Every, everyone knows everyone that. Everyone knows that. Um, he did that for about eight years. He he hosted that show two years after Full House ended. Loved it. I loved that too. Yeah. And especially uh, when they were on the, the same night too. Oh yeah, that was great. Yeah. yeah. You see, you see Danny, then you see Bob. It was fun. <laughs> so, side note. Danny, Ta- he was Danny Tanner for 192 episodes. Okay. He hosted America's Funniest Home Videos for 191 wow. episodes. Wow, so he was more himself than... Danny. No, he was more Danny Oh, oh than himself by one, one episode. episode. Oh, wow. Okay. That's, <laughs> but that, of course, that doesn't do Fuller House. Right, right. All but that stuff. either way. Um, so he appeared on shows like uh, Raising Dad, yep. Entourage. Yep. He was in in an episode of uh, the failed Friends spinoff, Joey, yeah. um, which was, is kind of funny, right? Because his best friend was Joey. Oh, and yeah, like, that's true. This is Joey from Friends. I wonder yeah. if there was any jokes. I bet there were. <laughs> I never watched that show. No, me either. Those like early two thousand yeah comedies were terrible. Yeah, they yeah. all failed. Yeah, uh, he was the star in a failed sitcom. Speaking of <laughs> a failed sitcom called Surviving Suburbia. I want to watch that. Yeah. Was, Never heard I of it. I think it was like one season or something. 
Other than uh, being Danny Tanner, he's probably most known for his role as the narrator or the voice of future Ted on How I Met Your Mother yep. that I just mentioned yep. earlier. Uh, he was also the squiggly monster in The Masked Singer season oh, okay. four. Okay. If I just, uh, if anyone's watching The Masked Singer and I just ruined that for you. Sorry! That was season four. They're on like season be, nine uh, or something. Nobody's going to binge watch this, The Masked Singer. Right. Well, uh, uh, okay. I am. Oh, but, I forgot. You know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he, he also had a really funny part in Dumb and Dumberer. Okay. Which was the prequel to Dumb and Dumber, uh, <laughs> where, where Bob Sang is yelling, There is shit! There is shit everywhere! <laughs> Someone shit! He just, he just yells yeah. shit like a thousand times. Uh, I gotta watch that movie. Yeah. Not a big movie guy, but... Uh, he also had the great uh, roast of Bob Saget. Which... On Comedy Central. Have you seen it? I have. Okay, yes, I, yes. It, it was honestly, it was really funny. It was good. It was good. It was yep, funny. And uh, lastly, then he rep reprised his role of Danny Tanner in Fuller House. Uh, but unfortunately, as I mentioned, as we mentioned, um, on January 9th of last year, twenty twenty two. Uh, Bob Saget was found dead in his hotel room in Florida at the yep. age of 65. Wow. And according to autopsy reports, he died from blunt head trauma from an accidental blow to the back of the head. I like and, to leave it at that. Yeah. Right? All right. So, oh, what, did, what am I hearing here? Oh, are those, are those, uh, You're hearing, sounds like a twinkling. You're hearing the bad story. <laughs> Well, it's me, and we're gonna, you're gonna put your head on that pillow, and just listen to my voice, soothe you to sleep tonight. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> okay, so, uh, tonight's bedtime story. Uh, yeah. we're, we're gonna go back to, uh, uh, Full House. Yeah, okay. Full when, house. you know, Stephanie was sick with the chicken pox. Yeah, yeah. It, it makes me think about when I was sick as a kid once. Okay. Okay. Chicken pox? Uh, <laughs> no, I never, never did that. Okay. 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 So, I, I swear, I was gone. I was out of school for like a week. Okay. <laughs> so, the first thing I did, I remember like, it's weird, man. So, it was around like the time Toy Story came out. And I was okay. obsessed with Toy Story. Like, the original... <laughs> And I like you really were. I was so jealous of you because you had Woody. Yeah, you had the Woody doll, and I was so jealous. You would be. <laughs> I was jealous of your Woody. Woody. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> go, go on. so and maybe this. Is, so uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about this. So uh, mm -hmm. I would go to Burke. Mom would take me to Burke King all the time to get all the Toy Story toys and stuff. Yeah. Okay. So maybe this is what I'm about to tell you. Maybe this is what happened to me. Anyway, so to start off my sickness. Uh, the old thermometers. I would do the old thermometer trick and put oh, it in the in the tea, yeah. <laughs> and it would like skyrocket, you know. And I remember my mom like being worried because I think I did it twice, and it like <laughs> shot way up there. So I'm a smart child. I thought of another way to keep being sick. Okay. Um, I decided I was constipated. <laughs> so I really wasn't constipated right, at right. all. Like, but I, but what parent can prove that you're not that you're not constipated, right? right? So I, I just remember like pounding. Like my mom would make me pound prune juice, <laughs> and like you eat prunes and shit. And I was it was terrible. But I just remember like, hey, if I get to stay home from it's, school, yeah. why not keep doing it? So like I won't. I will not touch prune juice anymore it's, right it's terrible yeah but uh also you like scarred, you were scarred for life from the thing that yeah. you but, wanted to but do. maybe it was all that birkin that uh <laughs> maybe <laughs> constipated i don't know you know, ah, you know right right uh and then yeah like my mom would make me do like laps around the farm <laughs> too to like work your bones <laughs> yeah so but yeah that's lay you on the bed and pump your legs 
Did you ever do that with your baby? Oh, uh, no, but I feel like my mom probably made me, like, do something like that. I don't know if my mom was holding my legs or not, but... Dude, I, it was the best time of my life, though. I, like, had this, like, whole fort thing set up in, like, our extra, like, uh, kids' room type thing. Right. And, like, I had everything set up. Oh, my goodness. It was literally the best time of my life was during this constipation month of mine. So... But yeah, that is, uh, that's all for tonight's bedtime story. <laughs> so while you're closing your eyes, just think about me not on the toilet <laughs> because I couldn't take a poop. <laughs> but secretly you did. did take a poop, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so if, if you're still tuning in with us right. after, after, after that... that. <laughs> Or if you didn't, if that didn't work your bowels and make you rush to the bathroom, uh, we'd like to thank you for tuning in for another episode of TGIF Renegades. Renegades. Come <laughs> at ya. Oh boy. Uh, we're happy you gave us a listen and uh, please join us every Friday for a new episode of our show. And if you need to keep up on uh, Family Matters and Full House while we're, while we're watching them, um, all the episodes are available on Hulu. You need to get your own. Yeah, <laughs> you need to get your own uh, account to, to do that. That guy like Netflix because <laughs> I heard Netflix is cracking down lately. Oh boy, yeah. So uh, get your get your uh, subscription to Hulu and watch the episodes either either before or after us. Yeah, I, you know, see if we're I, wrong at all. See if we're wrong or ahead of time to see if we nailed it yeah. on the head. You know. Um, and, uh, if you want to, uh, catch us on social media, absolutely. We are all over the place um, on uh, Facebook, Instagram, check us out anywhere you want to listen to us. We are available. Spotify, absolutely. all those places. Podbean. If you're listening to us now, you just, just stick with what you got. Yeah. <laughs> Better off that way. Right. But like we always say, thank God it's. Friday! Hey, Kenny, grab me another beer. <laughs>